Are you listening? What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. Um, this past few days, I've been uh, at my brother, my parents' house uh, in the IE, and uh, just been messing with my other brother's Corolla. Uh, playing with the idea of putting a uh, Celica, um, a 2001 Celica seat in there. And so uh, his seats are nice, his GTS seats are fine, but uh, he just wanted to like uh, try it out for fun or whatever. And um, um, you're probably already going to see that. Uh, the part two, I don't know when it's going to come. Uh, it's, it just depends on when I have time to go back to the... Uh, my parents place and uh, record that video um, today we're going to be installing these little uh, mirror covers that I just picked up pretty good condition still has a little clips on them that's hard to find uh, pick them up for five bucks and uh, here's a little junkyard haul that I uh, picked up to install my skirts and these right here are the little grommets or the little uh, adapter pieces that um, fit perfectly but I only got three of them these are a little bit wider these square ones are a little bit wider they're a newer design but if you shave down the sides they will fit I might do that maybe two of these new ones I'll shave down just a little bit and they'll fit that the width of them is just a little more, more wider and then uh, a couple pieces of hardware for uh, mounting the skirt on. I don't even know if these actually fit correctly, but I got them just in case because they are the original to these ones right here. And then uh, that's it. Oh yeah, and then these right here. My seat belt when I had installed them, um, I I'm sure I'm, I was missing something, so they don't actually swivel. And I'm thinking that. If I replace these with the ones that I have, then uh, they'll swivel correctly. Um, that's, I don't know if that's a safety thing because they're pretty secure in there, but it's probably more for convenience and functionality. And that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. So we see all this rust. That's why I'm calling my car a piece of crap. There's so much rust. Um, rust here all on the bottom but before I install this piece to make it pretty actually I'm gonna pull this one off and complete this pocket here because I didn't do this one uh, the other day um, I'm gonna do that real quick and then put it reinstall everything get everything done um, I'm actually gonna repair this vinyl right here I have an idea on how to do that. They have vinyl and leather repair kits and I'm gonna go try to purchase one, get that done. I'm gonna shave this down, put the vinyl stuff in there, texture, or not texture, but paint it. Maybe texture, yeah. These little spots here. Just fill those in, clean them off, fill them in, paint them. Maybe even get some paint for this. But um, here we go. Are you listening?
All right, so here it is. The door's done. It has this little piece here that clips in or slides in to the little hole, corresponding hole. This little piece here pops into here. And so there's a groove here. Let me see if I can get lower. There's a hole here that this slides into and then it pops in. So So I decided to just go with the circle ones, the period correct ones, I guess. These are just too much hard, too much work. If, if I get desperate, I'll go ahead and shave the rest of it down and put it in. But for now, I'm just gonna use these. Try to get like a clean OEM install. project I can also find some of these and like drill the holes in here and not use the pop rivets the, the other rivets but I don't know we'll see These also fit perfectly. Look at that. Into the little groove here. So that's gonna work out very nicely. Install it. All right, so I took off uh, this piece here, and this is all that was on it. This side was like 
extremely loose and the other side is extremely tight. So what we're gonna install is this. Bolt, crush washer, um, extension, another crush washer, and this little keeper here. Oops, sorry. This is the order that I took it off at the junk. Okay. I'm sure it'll go a lot nicer this time. It fits nicely into the groove. Right there. The little spacer should go into this little space here. Like that. There we go. The little plastic piece has like a little bevel inside. And then this guy and then this guy. This isn't necessary, but it, they all cracked, but actually I'm gonna use it. As long as you have it in the right order, you should be able to give you a seatbelt that works correctly. It is tight and secure. Size 12, no, size 14 bolt. There it is, completely secure, and it still has movement. If anybody's ever found a solution to this, broken seatbelt tabs, please let me know. I don't know why they didn't make it completely out of metal on both ends, but you live with what you got. Maybe I'll just clean it off and make it look nicer. Oh, so much better. And off to the other side. <laughs> 